going over the Atchafala, Atchafalaya. I don't know how to pronounce it. Beautiful. But I'm about 50 miles from my campsite. I'm staying at a KOA. That's south of Louisiana, outside of Baton Rouge. And I'm going to do some fishing with my daughter. She just turned five uh, a few days ago. So, I'm excited. Got her a bag of gifts. Got some snacks. I get to camp. What more can I ask for? I'm the only tent camper out here and the sun's fixing to come up so I thought I'd do a little video on my cooking setup. Ooh, that feels good on my hands. I thought I'd share with you my setup on what I used to cook with when I'm riding my motorcycles or kayaking or camping. This is a really cheap setup. Works really well and uh, Let's take a look at it. I keep everything in this little open country bag. Here's my pot. Now I believe I got this pot from a garage sale. I'm pretty sure maybe for less than a dollar. Probably not the best pot out there, but for less than a dollar, who, who can complain? And I keep in this bag an emergency poncho. It's good for the motorcycle or camping. Always good to have. And a emergency emergency rescue blanket and that's the handle for the pot you just open it up and it clamps on I'll show you that in a minute anyway here's the pot got a nice little lid that's my cook stove I'll go over it in just a second that is seasoning I'll go over that in a second what else we got in here Here's my fuel for my stove, the MSR 8 ounce, 8 ounce fuel canister, and I keep a flint, and a lighter. Okay, hopefully uh, that's in view. What this is, is a Chinese knockoff of the Pocket Rocket. The Pocket Rocket stove is... Uh, a really great seller retails for around uh, 40 bucks you make it find a little bit cheaper maybe around 30 online um, but basically this is a knockoff rocket uh, excuse me pocket rocket now it doesn't have the same design as the pocket rocket but as far as the weight and functionality of it it's it's pretty similar as you can see it has a expandable pot rest which rotates around the center burner like so and these little brackets fold out to give you more surface area for your pot now the pocket rocket the original pocket rocket is a, it's a tripod style design so you only have three supports this has four it seems to work really well you also have uh, an igniter Um, anyway, the good part about this is so far it seems to work really well and it's only $8 that's shipped to your door. Now, uh, a lot of people that have ordered this stove uh, was ordering it directly from China, which usually means you're going to be waiting, if you're in the United States, you're going to be waiting uh, sometimes a couple months. But here's a trick, if you just go into eBay and type in Pocket Rocket, or mini backpacking stove and then uh, change your search to uh, price from low to high and just type in US 
you can find a lot of U.S. sellers that sell this stove. Uh, you might pay nine bucks or you might pay ten, but you're gonna get it like in three or four days. So if you don't want to wait, two bucks isn't too much. It, it seems to have a really good quality. There's more in-depth uh, reviews on these little stoves for more detailed information. I just wanted to give you an idea of something you make and use that's light and uh, very functional. The reason I bought this was I motorcycle camp a lot and I carry those big propane well I call them big propane but your standard you know propane propane bottles with the larger stove it takes up a lot of space and it's a lot heavier than this obviously this weighs in like a little over three three ounces I believe and that's including this little plastic case it saves you a ton of weight sa saves you a ton of space to pack other other items and uh, I can also bring this on the kayak. There's been times where I've fished, I've been on the water for 22 hours and uh, me and a buddy of mine uh, stopped on an island on the lake and uh, ended up cooking and cleaning, or cleaning and cooking what we just caught. And uh, something like this would have been really, really helpful. It's not gonna weigh the kayak down either. It's pretty neat. Like I said, it's got the igniter, you got the expandable pot stands and uh, this is your, that's your fuel control. So you can simmer. It doesn't have to be full blast all the time. It'll boil a couple of cups of water in a few minutes. I mean, I'm talking three minutes or less. It's really good. And these actually last a long time, these MSR fuel containers. Uh, they're really good. All season fuel blend. They'll run you about five bucks, but uh, they last a good while. Let me crank it up for you. So all you gotta do, pop your cap off, make sure that's closed. Screw it on. Okay. So there we go. Turn on the fuel. There you go. Ooh, that feels good on my hands. Well, I think it's still dark enough where you can see the nice blue flame. my fuel but there you go cranks right up of course I'd always bring a lighter and some matches just in case this thing goes out I mean this thing was nine bucks eight bucks what did I say so I mean there's some things I'm sure that might mess up but for eight bucks you can't really complain it saves me a ton of space like I said so that's pretty much the stove and there's lots of guys on YouTube doing this stuff which is a great idea that I've been camping several times and go to cook on the campsite and realized I didn't bring any seasonings and I found some guys that were putting seasoning in regular drinking straws and very simple to do very very good idea I always have seasonings for my food now I got cayenne pepper salt black pepper chili powder uh, paprika and garlic powder all in here you can add whatever you want but that's a very good idea very helpful well, that's pretty much my cooking setup. Oh, here's a little handle. Just open it up. You can grab your pot. Well, I hope that helps you out. And all, would I recommend this product? Yes, absolutely. It's very, very cheap. I haven't used it long enough to tell you how long it's going to last. But the build quality seems, it seems great. It really does. I think the first thing that'll break will be the little igniter. But if that does, that's no big deal. Use a match or a normal lighter to get it started not a problem but if you're motorcycling you like to motorcycle camp you cannot beat cooking on one of these things it's just ultra light it'll save you a ton of space um, a lot of motorcyclists don't like to cook when they're camping just because of carrying food you know the stuff the stoves but this this changes the game and especially the kayaking I don't know if you guys are as a hard hardcore kayaker as I am but when I'm out there on the water sometimes I want a hot meal and, uh, it's definitely going to allow me to have that and keep going and keep
keep on being adventurous, just like I am right now. The sun's about to come up and I'm about to get warm, so come on. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.